It's time for Friday Night Flights, sponsored by McDonald's of Hampton Roads, Hampton Roads Transit Student Freedom Pass, and Casey Auto Group. Sun sets on the heat of a tidewater summer. Twilight cools the practice field and calls for a real contest of muscle and mind. Above it all, the eye of Chopper 10, watching each aerial advance and push against a human fortress of opposition. Rational exuberance of victory, painful realization of defeat. Human drama written on the sidelines of a green stage where your chances are numbered and success comes down to a final act on Friday night. Tom Shad <laughs> setting the stage as we embark on week three of Friday Night Flights. I'm Bruce Rader, Todd. Tom, you watched an exciting Southeastern District game between Indian River oh, yeah. and Kings Fork tonight. Yes, I did, but there was another big game in the Southeastern between Oscar Smith and Lakeland. Indeed it was, and it was played under this beautiful harvest moon at Tiger oh. Stadium in Chesapeake. Lakeland looking to end Oscar Smith's 83 game district winning streak. Oscar Smith in blue up 10 nothing in the third quarter. D'Angelo White gets the carry right into your living room, spun out at the one yard line, and Oscar Smith is in business. But now it's fourth down for the Tiger. Sean Mitchell faces fakes the handoff. He's got nowhere to throw it. The Lakeland defense with a big time stand at the one. They get the ball back, but the Oscar Smith defense is good as well. They get the ball back for their offense, and this time Sean Mitchell and company will not be denied. That was Khalid Perry. He's in for the touchdown. Gave a little nod to the camera, and in a game. That wasn't really pretty. The Oscar Smith defense shut out Lakeland 17 and nothing. That's now an 84 game win streak in the Southeastern District for the Tigers. In the Beach District, unbeaten Cox looking to make it three wins in a row against Kellum. And how about this band member trying to juggle? He wipes out, but he was all right though. Now to the game, third quarter. Tavion Robinson in for the injured. A.J. Smith at quarterback, filling in nicely with a touchdown as Cox takes a 10 to nothing lead and another outstanding performance by Cox's sophomore running back, Leno Lester, who takes this one seven yards for the touchdown. Lester would add another TD in the fourth quarter as Cox makes it three in a row with a 24 nothing shot out of Pella. That other big game in the Southeastern District, Kings Fork against Indian River and plenty of offense tonight. Kings Fork would jump out to a 14 nothing lead when Devon Hunter goes up the middle untouched for the score. Now, Kings Fork's defense also looking strong early on. Xavier Ramsey, Ramsey with a sack on Keyshawn Brown, but the Indian River offense gets back on track. And here is certainly a nominee for our Friday Night Flights Top 10, Terrell Hart with wow. the catch. And check out the spin move as he turns on the speed and he was gone. That was incredible. Kings Fork coach Scotty Littles isn't happy, but hey, not much you can do there, coach. Indian River spreading out the touches. Justin White gets the call this time on the short run up the middle as Indian River pulls away. Four a 35 to 21 win. Now, Tom, you had the luxury of flying all over the place in Chopper 10 tonight, and what a beautiful night with that moon. It was like a Learjet out there, you know, flying around. My travels took me to Kings Fork High School tonight. The Bulldogs taking on the Braves of Indian River. You saw the highlights from Chopper 10. You could see their band and cheerleaders rocking the house. But second year principal Dr. Ron Lee, as you would expect, is really excited about what's happening in the classroom at Kings Forks, which has earned full accreditation this year. That was big for us, and uh, we were really excited. Our kids and teachers did an outstanding job. Uh, also, hiring a new football coach and Coach Littles, and he's brought a lot of excitement back to Kings Fork, and hopefully, we can be really competitive this year in the Southeastern District. We got a glimpse of Scotty Littles a few moments ago. He brings some fire and intensity to the sidelines at Kings Fork. One can't help but believe they're going to be back after tonight's tough loss to Indian River. Well, they had a great start to the season. Back to the Southeastern District, unbeaten Grassfield in blue against Hickory. First play from scrimmage. Darius Hagens with some nice moves as he weaves his way for a 25 yard pick up. Look at him go. In the, ends, in the red zone, coach, Mar coach Martin Asprey goes back to Hagens, who drags defenders with him all the way in for the touchdown, but Hickory came to play. 
The Hawks on their own seven yard line. Look at Matt Saunders. Busted, free and clear, all the way down to the grass field. 16 yard line. Look at that speed, but turnovers can kill you. The Hawks trying to finish the deal. Mason Dunaway can't hold on. The grass field defense pounces on the fumble, and then Grassfield quarterback Justice Bigby with a couple of touchdowns in the second half would put it away, and one of the best student sections in Hampton Roads had plenty to cheer about as the Grizzlies win it tonight, 28-3. to In Norfolk, Lake Taylor, the 4A state runners-up at home against Northeastern out of Elizabeth City. First play from scrimmage. Tyree Hewley, the play fake to Rashawn Griffin over the middle, and Rashawn Griffin Going to do the rest, a 64-yard touchdown to open the game. Northeastern, though, would answer right back on its first possession. DeMar Sutton, short pass to Darius Walton. Looks like he's going to be tackled, Whoa. but no. He stays on his feet, stays in bounds, walks the tightrope, and he's in as the game is tied at six. But on the ensuing kickoff, Rashad Russell is going to give Lake Taylor the lead right back. Hey, this is a nominee for one of the My top 10 God. plays of the week. A 75-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Lake Taylor holds on to defeat Northeastern 62-41. to Basketball season hasn't started yet. I know. My big goodness tonight. Now to the Peninsula District where the Heritage Hurricanes have established themselves as one of the teams to beat. Indeed. Heritage already with huge victories over Lake Taylor. Hampton and tonight taking on Mitchville and they just kept on rolling heritage and white on the 20 yard line quarterback Jeremiah Boyd is in trouble but gets out of it finds a wide open Amanye Watson for the touchdown and the Hurricanes can beat you in so many ways this time it's Roy Johnson the third he finds the opening he dives for the corner and he's in for the touchdown heritage now 3-0 with a 35-2 win over Mitchville. And still to come, Tom, it's the Bay Rivers District Game of the Night. Lafayette against Smithfield next on Friday Night Flights. And Chopper 10 makes a stop at the Castle, where the Windsor Dukes know how to put on a Friday night show. Don't go away. Bruce and Tom will be right back with more Friday Night Flights. Wow, saw these guys tonight, the marching bulldogs of Kings Fork High School, the Friday Night Flights Band of the Week, and with good reason. And Tom, you can see their entire performance. Just go to wavy.com and click on sports. The game of the night in the Bay Rivers District took place in Smithfield, where the Packers played host to perennial power Lafayette. Well, the Lafayette Rams have now won 34 district games in a row. Smithfield trying to snap that streak in front of its home crowd. Lafayette and White with the ball, but Smithfield's D comes up big as Garrett Black comes up with the big interception. So the offense will now take over, and Willie Drew gets Smithfield on the board, turning the corner finding the end zone, but Lafayette again this year looking like a team that can contend for a state championship. Caleb Kragenbrink up the gut as Lafayette wins its 35th district game yes. in a row, 21-13 over Smithfield. More Bay Rivers finals. Warhill defeated York 28-19. Pocosin 44-20 over Jamestown. And the Tab Tigers 47-15 winners over New Kent. In Norfolk tonight, the Norview Pilots returning from up, coming up with 34 points in the first half, up 14 on Mari here. The Pilots on offense, deep in their end zone. Mari's defense comes up with a fumble. Jordan Davis falls on the loose ball. The Commodores hoping to close the gap. Mari's Kevin Mills takes the snap, finds Timothy White, who's in for the score. The Commodores cut the lead to seven, but Norview comes back. Kevin Marks into the secondary. He is off to the races, but he's dragged down inside the five, but that led to a score. And Norview, Norview puts up 54 points. He is 54 to 27 tonight. Now Powhatan Field Granby hosting the Wilson president scoreless right before the end of the half, but not for long. Elijah Hodges going for the quick strike goes deep to Shavaya Williams. 
who beats his defender, takes it 60 yards of the house as the Granby Comets beat Wilson 13 to 6. All right, Tom, we're going to go back to the peninsula. Darling Stadium, Bethel against Kikatan on the first play from scrimmage. Bethel's Navarro Price back to pass. He's going to get picked off, though, by Zeke Jones. It's a rough start for Bethel right at the beginning, but the Bruins rebound. This time, Price finds Jeremiah Ashikormo. He keeps his toes in. Bethel takes the early lead. The Bethel defense then stepping up. Coming up with the loose ball, Bethel just kept pouring on the points. A lot of offense tonight, Tom, all, all over the area as they win it 42 to 14 over Ticket Tail. And it always is a privilege to be invited to the castle. That's ah, the what they castle. call the home of the Windsor High Dukes. They welcomed us. My erratic arm that helped the cheerleaders toss those wavy footballs. We also had the honor of speaking to the woman who coaches these fine young ladies. She was part of the JV team at Windsor when they won the state cheering championship. And now she's passing on her wisdom to the next generation. Okay, so you were a winner here, state championship, and now you're back. How's that feel? It's great. Um, we were we went to states every year I was there, and it's just something that I love to experience again. I missed it. I did miss it, so I'm proud of it and it thankful to be John part of the team again. And Chopper 10 was high above, getting a shot of the castle. The Dukes hosting Northampton. We got the Dukes' first touchdown of the night by running back Devon Cosbett. Windsor down seven to six. Now from the ground level, let's take a look. After a Duke turnover, Northampton running back Frederick Williams. Breaks a tackle and plows his way to the end zone for the score. Northampton wins 49 to 38. More scores now. Salem over Princess Anne. Tallwood 21 to 14 over Bayside. Lansdowne gets the win over Green Run, while First Colonial pitches the shutout over Kempsville. Western Brand shut out its rivals from Great Bridge. And how about Deep Creek? The Hornets over Nansman River. We'll be right back. Once again, the sport marching band, the Friday Night Flights Band of the Week. Hampton defeated Woodside last night. Surrey County got a game winning touchdown from Montez Warren and its one point victory over West Point. Norfolk Christian, big win over Hampton Roads Academy. Southampton defeats Colonial Heights. So, another exciting week of Friday Night Flights. Tom Shad, thanks to you so much for pleasure. being here because I know you love doing this. <laughs> it is a pleasure. I know Nathan Epstein will be here tomorrow and Sunday for the weekend and uh, just had a great time tonight flying all over the place and meeting a lot of wonderful people as you do every every weekend uh, to do Friday Night Flights. It's all fantastic. Right. Well, thanks for year. being with us. Tom and I will be back here on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Good night.